on today's video, we're going to talk about the suburban hot water heater that's on my fifth wheel. First off, I've been having a heck of a time with this door. It's not hinged, and I'm getting a lot of wasp in there, and I'll work on that problem later, but today I want to fix the problem of getting the door off without dropping it. And uh, for a dollar, it's fixed. Now let's get to flushing the system. Now I've been watching several videos on YouTube, and most have a winterizing kit, but I do not. And what my intent is, is to take and get the tank drained, flushed, filled back up, and use eight gallons of water and two gallons of vinegar, and let it sit for 12 hours. And these are the fittings that I purchased. And a small transfer pump, so I can pump the vinegar into the hot water tank. Remove the door. Make sure the unit is off. Actually, I shut everything off, guys. Gas, everything. And this has been sitting for 24 hours, so the water's not hot. Do not do this with the hot water. Let it sit, let it cool off. Open up the overflow valve so that you can release the air. One and one sixteenth socket. Now this looks like it's coming out easy. That's because I've removed it once already. This thing will corrode and be hard to get out sometimes. There's the anode rod. As you can see, it's time for a new one. This rod will take care of most of the rust that will build up in your tank, but that's what the new one looks like. Okay, now I'm gonna take this brass faucet, one that you'd have on your home, has the same one inch thread, same thread count and everything, and screw it in to where the anode was, which is the plug. It doesn't have to be tied. I just kind of snugged it a little bit with a pair of vice grips so it wouldn't drip and empty overnight. I added a male to male fitting and now I'm going to add this short extension so it just makes it a little easier for me to get the hose up in there. Fasten the hose to it, turn on the red valve, and turn on the water to your hydrant. Now as it fills, you'll hear air coming out the overflow. It's gonna take a few minutes, because like I say, you're pumping in 10 gallons of water. Once you start seeing that the water's coming out, then shut off the red valve, and then go shut off the water source from the house. Now, we know we've got 10 gallons, but we wanna put two gallons of vinegar into the system. So what I'm gonna do is take one of the hoses loose from the transfer pump, put a male adapter on the end of the hose, and I'm gonna siphon out two gallons of water into an empty container, one gallon at a time. Then I hook it back up to the transfer pump, but first cut a kind of a V in the take up hose, the one you're gonna put down in the vinegar, that'll keep it from, well, it, it'll get all the vinegar out, that's what I'm trying to say. And this little pump does short work. I bought it at Harbor Freight and it was like $6, I think. So I pump two gallons into the system. Now I close the valve back off take and close the overflow valve so critters won't get in there during the night. Take the pump off, put the door back on, and let it sit overnight and break down all that rust in the system. Stay tuned for part two and we'll see how clean she is.